In a statement, Governor Cuomo said the question of public health or the economy has always been a false choice. The answer must be both. As more New Yorkers get vaccinated each day and as key public health metrics continue to regularly reach their lowest rates in months, the first in the nation Excelsior Pass heralds the next step in our thoughtful science-based reopening. Little Nas X got his big break. Riding on a horse. Riding on a horse. Ha. Well, now he's riding Satan, doing a lap dance, and collaborating on special Satan sneakers. What the devil's going on? They sold out in less than a minute. Even at a price of 1018 bucks a pair, a figure meant to match Bible verse Luke 10:18, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. The sneakers are Nike Air Max 97s, modified with a bronze pentagram, an inverted cross, and a drop of human blood in the air bubble soul. Little Nas X was accused of selling his soul. The art collective calls itself mischief. The sole of their shoe features red ink mixed with a single drop of human blood, blood donated by six of the creative team's members. I, I did indeed. Yes, one of the six. So you have this little tiny, tiny needle and you poke that into a fingertip. You squeeze out a dozen drops in a day and at the end of it, we end up with 666 drops. One for each of the limited edition 666 pairs. We're used to keeping our airline tickets, concert passes, or ball game tickets on our phone. Why not our COVID test results and vaccine records? Now you can with the Excelsior Pass, a first of its kind mobile COVID passport. Here's how this works. First, you go to the app store on your smartphone and you set up the app. Excelsior will ask you a series of identifying questions and then you upload your results. You'll scan the app upon entry to the stadium, theater or entertainment venue. And if your records are up to date, you'll be allowed entry. One way to ensure those who enter are to the best of their knowledge, COVID negative. The Excelsior Pass gives you the option of printing your records too. The app was piloted during recent events at Barclays and Madison Square Garden. It was developed by IBM and because of that, it can be expanded to other states for seamless integration.